Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Real Life Reviews. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the Intex Saltwater Conversion System. Let's review it. So there's different ways you can purchase this system. You can purchase it by itself or with a number of different filters. Mine came with a 16 inch 2160 filter in which we're not gonna to get too much into that, but I am gonna briefly discuss how the filter operates. I do have a completely different series of filter videos. I would encourage you to check those out. The main subject of this content is to discuss how the salt water converter works and is it worth it. So this salt water converter did come with a 16 inch Intex sand filter pump. Like any other Intex sand filters, it has a six way valve selector on top which includes the usual backwashing, rinsing, draining, filtering, you name it. And it's just nothing too elaborate about that pump. And the pump by itself without the salt water converter is a five star pump. Make sure you check that out. So real briefly, before we get to the salt water converter, let's talk about the difference between salt water and chlorine. Again, I just did a really in-depth video on this, the difference between, but in a really short recap of that video, you can either buy chlorine and add it to your pool, or you can buy salt and create chlorine next to your pool. And that's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. So this salt water converter, what does it do? Well, there's three main components. We're mostly gonna be talking about two of the components. One of which is the titanium electrode, and the other is the electrode catalytic oxidizer. It's two plates that you screw into the inverter, and we'll talk about what they do. This particular inverter uses a method called ECO which is electrocatalytic oxidization. So as the pool water is circulating through your daily normal filtration, the saline water passes through the salt water system and it converts the salt into sodium hydrochloride. And if you wanna get really into that, just check out the video that I just placed on there. It's the type sanitizer that you want. There's different types of chlorines and you really need to be familiar with what those are. So I would encourage you to check that out. This is just different content. So let's stick to this. Let's talk about how to get it started up and what the features are. Now, obviously in the very beginning, you need to add a little salt to your water. I hate giving full descriptions on how much salt I added because the amount of salt I add may be different than yours because you have a different size pool. But I have an 18 foot pool and it's 48 inches deep and I had four bags of salt that were 40 pounds a piece. That's 160 pounds. If you have that same exact pool, feel free to add that kind of salt. That's exactly what you need. Now, with that said, you should never cut a bag of salt open and just pour it directly into the middle of your pool or the side of your pool or what have you. You need to evenly disperse the salt that way that it's filtered correctly. Now, what I did, I have a little bit of free time and I'm very particular, I'm level 10 nerd. I took a net and poured the salt into the net and just stood there and let the circulation of the pool take the salt off and dissolve it evenly. Do you have to do that? No, but I'm a nerd and that's the way I do things. You can just cut the bag open and walk around the pool. Just make sure or take your hand and throw it out. Make sure it's evenly dissolved. You don't want mounds of salt on the bottom of your pool. Not that it'll cause any issues, but it may take it a little bit more in the way of dissolving. This particular one has a self-cleaning mode. It has something called a boosting mode. And the manufacturer did recommend that we boost the water for 36 continuous hours. And basically what that does is that just lets the pump and the filter run for 36 unobstructed hours. It's trying to balance out that salt in your pool. It does have a low water alert to it that will stop the pump in the case that you develop a hole in the middle of the night and you don't know it or you have a leak or something like that or your pool water just drops too low it will shut the pump down in order to protect it i thought that was a very nice feature and it also has a high salt alarm and a low salt alarm as well now the high salt alarm all you have to do is just drain a little bit of water out of your pool you can backwash or drain something of that nature and drain the water out and then add regular water hose water back to it and that helps kind of uh, alleviate that problem. A lot of reviewers are saying, I got a low salt alarm. What does that mean? Uh, how do I fix that? Well, I, I didn't work at NASA for 20 years and neither did you to figure out if you don't, if you got a low salt alarm, you just probably need to add a little salt. I, I mean, I don't mean that ugly. I just mean that in a good loving kind of 
way in. If you want to fix a low salt alarm, add a little salt. Now you may actually get that alarm with the evaporation and over time and, and if you leave your pull up all year round, you're going to have to add a little salt at the beginning of each season just because salt does break down. There's not a whole lot to the review other than to say when you have to make the decision whether you want to go to the store and buy chlorine or you want to make chlorine at your house. This by far is way less maintenance. You do have to still check the pH balance and things like that in your pool just for regular and routine maintenance but you're not adding chlorine every week and you don't have that harsh chlorine smell and it's not burning your eyes and it's not making your hair green and it's not tearing up your clothes and things like that. Uh, there's no maintenance. Once you get started there's zero maintenance. So yes there's a little cost on the front end. There's no maintenance and I love things that are maintenance free. So you know if this is your first time stopping by the channel that's exactly what we do here. We review products as a five star product. It hasn't given me any troubles whatsoever. It was a plug and play right out of the box. I put it right together. The instructions were absolutely perfect. There's a PDF manual online. If you want to get to that, just go to mtex.com. And if you want to know where I got this from, I'll leave a link in the description below and you can check that out as well. If you like things like reviews, cooks and DIYs, then you're certainly in the right place. And I would encourage you to subscribe and click that bell for my weekly updates. Until next week, this is the Pond Diver. Be well and thanks for watching.